I've always seen a lot of pictures and, you know, I've had an image in my head and all of that. For instance, I'm going to show you something. So on our decorative throw pillow, we have Santa. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. So this is meant to be the regular Santa <laughs> that um, is on his sleigh with the yeah. reindeer. So I think Rudolph is in front. Yes. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Mm -hmm. right. right. And then you can see the uh, Christmas tree right there. And then this is meant to be Santa Claus. Santa Claus lives at, at the North Pole. Mm -hmm. There's this new movie that I saw that it was even explaining... Um, Santa Claus, the why the history, why Santa Claus is at the North Pole, mm -hmm. and blah, 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 and all of that. So um, I'm going to be reading who Santa Claus is and how Santa Claus came about. So here goes. So it says, Santa Claus, also known as Father Christmas, uh, St. Nicholas, St. Nick, Chris Kringle, or simply Santa, is a legendary character originating in Western Christian culture who is said to bring gifts to the homes of well-behaved children on the night of Christmas Eve or during the early morning hours of Christmas. That is very interesting, Adam. That's um, the 25th of December. So, and of course, he's going to bring coal to the naughty, the naughty kids. The modern, the modern character of Santa Claus was based on traditions surrounding the historical St. Nicholas, a 4th century Greek bishop and gift giver of Myra, the British figure of Father Christmas and the Dutch figure of Santa Claus, himself also based on St. Nicholas. Some maintain Santa Claus also absorbed elements of the Germanic deity Wodan, who was associated with the pagan midwinter event of Yule and the lead and let the wild hunt a ghostly procession through the sky. So basically, Santa Claus is um, originated from the Western Christian culture and also based on the historical St. Nicholas that was always giving gifts to the needy, a very um, a selfless, a selfless saint mm -hmm. that was always giving out to people and always doing nice things to people. I was always making sure that people had um, something and all of that. And that's why one of the big um, themes for Christmas all over the world is giving and sharing love because it is the season to be jolly mm -hmm. and all of that. But this part of the world, in fact, actually, in other parts of the world, they also call Santa Claus Father Christmas. It's the same thing. It's the same person. But because of the context of this conversation, we're going to break it down a little bit. So, Father Christmas in our part of the world is also Santa Claus. But because um, of the difference in the costume, location, location, maybe not costumes per se. Sometimes they try. costume. <laughs> because there are some Father Christmas you get to see that you're wondering what is happening. I've seen one before, actually. Oh, really? And that's why you find some children crying <laughs> when, when they get to Father Christmas. And even at the fact that they are being given gifts, you still find them crying because they find the costume scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to and share a story with you, but not now, probably mm -hmm. as we're entering, we're getting into the conversation and all of that. So um, for Father Christmas in this part of the world, yeah. They try as much as possible to mimic the Santa, Santa Claus, Claus because mm -hmm. of the Christmas theme that um, that has come to. Of course, it was a Western culture that came here and then we um, adopted it and it became a thing in every school, all churches, um, in fact, organizations, every, almost every organization, they celebrate Christmas and they try as much as possible to have like a Santa party mm -hmm. and all of that. And um, so, but it's just that they really didn't get the costume properly. Some of them were not very, um, I tried as much as possible to not do Father Christmas slander because I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Father Christmas. I enjoyed going to Christmas grottoes, getting gifts and all of that because, you know, well, the idea of you getting gifts from Santa is your parents abroad. So abroad, your parents would ask you what you want for Christmas. Like, oh, mm -hmm. mommy, I want Santa to get me a phone. I want Santa to get me a moving train and all of that. So of course, your parents, dad and mom, uh, they're going to save up money or get money and buy you the gifts and do secret Santa, Santa. Mm -hmm. which we also did. 
but we're going to be unveiling next on week. Christmas Day. Of course. Mm -hmm. So um, they're going to do Secret Santa, put the gifts under the tree. That's why we always have box gifts under the, under tree, the tree at Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, you're going to unbox the gifts. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to unbox the, unbox the gifts and all of that. So, well, the idea is that Santa has brought gifts and then put it under the tree. Shouldn't it be on Boxing Day you unveil gifts? I think Boxing Day is for giving gifts to other people. I don't know, really. Mm, okay. I, think, uh, I think Boxing Day is for unboxing gifts from other people, I guess. But I'm going to check, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. But I, I know that Christmas Day you unbox gifts. Like for the family and all of that, the gifts that are under the tree, you bring them out and then you unbox it on, on all of that. So um, the children will think that it is Santa that brought the gifts on Christmas Eve because they've been great. So when they wake up on Christmas morning, ah, Santa has brought my gifts yes. and all of that mm -hmm. until they grow up, of course, and realize that it was their parents. <laughs> but yeah. So when they unbox the gifts, they see all that they've requested for. And if they don't see what they've requested for, they'll feel probably they've been naughty. Because, I mean, Santa only gives gifts to children that have been good and nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's why the, the, song, the song says, You better not pout, you, you better, better not cry, you better not, not, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. So, and because of that, the children try as much as possible to be very nice. They mm -hmm. wish into the stars and then their parents get them gifts and all of that. But it's part of the world. I really don't think that happens. Yeah. So, um, I, I know for a fact that a lot of um, parents did not do that. <laughs> they did not box um, gifts and put it there. They, they, they're going to buy Christmas clothes. They're going to give it to you. Hello? Bah. Take your <laughs> Christmas card and go away. And then they'll probably buy an oversized outfit for you to grow into. Exactly. If you didn't do that in your house, your parents are foreign. <laughs> Let's just let it out of the bag. Uh, if that actually, wasn't done in your house, where you were bought shoes that you were meant you to, to fit. your jean. Where you were bought outfits that were a little bit bigger than you. Some mm -hmm. frock dresses that you had to, um, you know wear belts and all of that that you wear for five years then you're probably not africa oh no to so actually think that like all of this brings back memories of childhood you know. whereby christmas was really a big deal i mean yeah if anybody um for me in my house once we don't get christmas gifts is a problem in fact my parents actually take it seriously to get us Christmas gifts than birthday gifts. Yeah. Sometimes they, think... they forget your birthdays and then, but Christmas, it is sure that we're going for shopping and every, I think every parent wants their child to, you know, look good in the midst of their friends on Christmas day. If, sometimes you don't even get to leave the four corners of your room or your house. But the fact that, you have a new dress, uh, people are coming around visiting on Christmas. There's that Christmas feel that just creates that excitement. And another thing is, for me, yes. when it has to do with memories of Christmas and all of that, mm -hmm. why is it that the jollof rice on Christmas, they taste different from every other jollof rice you've eaten over time? I think it's psychological. Really? Yeah, I think it's psychological. I, don't think so. I, I feel like for Christmas, they pay more attention. I think it's psychological. I don't think so. I think it is because it is Christmas. You already... So, have you noticed that during Christmas, mm -hmm. there is a different feeling that comes with it? Even apart in the from environment. The, apart, yeah, apart from the weather that comes. Mm -hmm. Of course, the weather changes. It's just a little bit strange this Christmas that the weather is different. It's out. Yeah, it's just strange that it rained mm -hmm. and it has been very sunny. And be, most of the time, it's always very dry. And we dusty. have the hammer time season mm -hmm. and it is dusty. Your lips are cracked. Your body is ashy. Mm -hmm. and other, in fact, I'm so surprised that this year we're not giving you tips on how to take care of your body for <laughs> hammer time season. Because normally we would have been doing that. But because yes. the hammer time is not really out mm -hmm. there for this period, it's a bit strange. The way we have cold, we're meant to have fog and mist and all of that. But we don't really have that this season. So... It's I don't a bit know if different. You, if you saw the tweets on um, social media where people were saying, if you were a hammer tan, would you also come out with all that 2020 
came with and all that happened. I don't think anybody, I think Agbalu Motsu didn't come out this year. And a lot of people came out wondering, like, what is happening? Like, a lot of things to these guys. <laughs> 2020 has been a lot, really, mm -hmm. and a lot of things didn't come out. In fact, it brought a lot of change. It means that, mm, just a random thought, it means that um, you have to be ready to adapt to the new normal any day, any time, because things will change. But, I mean, for Christmas, yes, or for the Christmas season, because from the um, ending of November, everybody starts to prep for Christmas, the and the decorations are already mm -hmm. out and all of that, you realize that there's a difference. The moment you see a Christmas tree, you feel a different way. The moment you see Christmas caps, lights, um, dirty decorations, you feel a different way. So the moment you are getting the Christmas meal, even if you are buying it out, it tastes different because of the feeling that comes with it. So I think it is psychological. Okay, I'll try to buying to that story. no seriously you <laughs> might you might i mean if you if you want to um argue it out you can but i just feel like maybe on christmas day try to remove the psychological part of it and see how do you want to do that because your environment is already speaking christmas you have family members that you have not seen in years lock myself that would... in the room no because it's christmas you won't do that well you know we have people that are like that that really do not believe in the whole Christmas tradition. True. You going out. True. They just prefer to have their alone time because it's going to be a public holiday. Yes. And then most people would not go to work. So they True. just want to have me time in their room, lock themselves up and just do stuff. That makes sense. That's mm -hmm. true. That's possible. But what is the ratio? <clears throat> What's the percentage? Yeah. What's the percentage of people that are not into the Christmas feeling and the people that are into it. In fact, even if you don't want to be in the Christmas feeling, everyone around you will technically force you because everywhere you go, all the shops that you're going has Christmas decorations. Yes. All the um, banks have Christmas decorations. The streets have Christmas decorations. The eateries have Christmas decorations. Your religious centers has Christmas decorations. So what are you? hold Christmas carnivals. There would be Christmas cantatas. There would be carnivals. There would be carols. Mm -hmm. There would be um, musicals. Carols would actually start from this weekend. Yes. Actually, mm. some carols started from last week. Oh, I thought yeah. it was like a week before Christmas. I don't think there is a state, there is Certain a standard time. But time. like growing up, I was actually used to like the Sunday or the weekend before um, Christmas. And if Christmas is on the weekend, then they just leave the carol to be that weekend. Oh. So everyone can attend. I, I feel like it's either a week or two weeks before. I've attended a Christmas carol two weeks before. Mm. Um, now, in fact, because of everything that has changed, yeah, the, the pandemic, pandemic and all of that, yes, uh, people would attend carols online. But it's different. It's very different because, oh, I mean, everyone me. is trying as much as possible to stay um, safe. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. And ah, I was reading um, a news sometimes uh last month and they were warning people in the uk that you should please try as much as possible to stay safe if you are breaking any covid rules no matter what party you're having no matter the dinner police officers will come and scatter it and i think right here in lagos um there's been news about the government cancelling concerts and whatever gathering it is that would like during this festive period mm. and a lot of people have actually been coming out on social media to say please at least let's just even have like end the year with fun time and all of that and well for your safety just stay at home and i can see from the dirty december list that came out <gasps> A lot of concerts, gatherings would be happening and has been planned. I'm so sad. <laughs> but now the government is actually looking into this and trying to see how this can be cancelled. It's a lot, actually. Like My heart. I can't wait to jump out of this 2020 to 2021. And so when I said, the last time I mentioned this, someone said, what exactly would change? You know, it's just a calendar. I want to beg and you. And just days. 
moving. So why what 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 is the excitement about leaving 2020 to 2021? It doesn't mean when you get into 2021, coronavirus is over or whatever okay. pandemic or whatever thing is happening would be over. So I want to <clears throat> I want to beg um everyone. This is like a public announcement. I want to beg each and everybody, please try as much as possible not to overhype 2021. <laughs> please don't ruin it for us. Let's just keep going. Like, you know, see the way that we're all moving. Let's just keep moving towards 2021. Don't overhype it. Vision 2020 <laughs> has made 2020 what it is. What it is, please. Try as much as possible. Uh, let's, let's just keep moving. Mm -hmm. You know, let's enter the new year. Let's be, um, you know, better in our 2021. In fact, let's just be better every day because the truth that you've just said is they're just days on the calendar. It's a mind thing, you mm -hmm. know. And of course, we've been conditioned to believe that every year ends at so 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 and so time, the new year starts. But it's just the next day. Really, in the, 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 in the scheme of things, of things yeah. is the next day, 31st, 1st of January 2021, is the day after 31st of uh, December 2020. Mm -hmm. It's just the day after. Just like the day after your birthday or the day after your wedding or the day after your celebration and all of that. It's mm -hmm. just the day after. So, yes, let's use that same measure to, to count. Yes, <laughs> let's use that same measure to move into the next year. Mm -hmm. It's the same day. Mm, the next day, rather. Yes. It's the next day, 2021. Don't overhype it and don't ruin it for us. It's actually sad for those of um, like people who have gotten tickets and the government coming out to cancel this Oof. concert. Like, there, there was a particular artist that I know that um, all he sold were just table reservations. Mm. No normal tickets. So from 1 million, 2 million... You know, you request for a table and you attend the concert. And I can't imagine someone must have dropped that amount of money and just to get the news that the concert would be cancelled. I'm hoping that there's a full re um, refund, um, a full payment refund policy. I'm hoping because, Hopefully. I mean, I, I cannot pay a million naira for a table for six or a table for eight and like I'm not that. going to get mm -hmm. my money back and all of that. But um, quick ad, quick advert. But the concerts or the cantatas that have not been cancelled is at High Impact Planet Amusement Park mm -hmm. and Resorts. And of course, High Impact Cruise. Please try as much as possible to make your way into um, High Impact Planet because a lot has been lined up. We'll be highlighting them um, later on on the show. A lot has been lined up for um, High Impact Planet and High Impact Cruise for you to have a lot of fun. All the COVID-19 restrictions have been duly observed, observed. Mm -hmm. at high impact they try as much as possible like you know we had a representative come to explain everything, everything that they're having yes. mm -hmm. and you know and they visuals to back it up exactly they've tried as much as possible to um make sure that everybody is safe mm -hmm. and also having all fun. the fun mm -hmm. i am desperately waiting for the christmas cantata carnival, yes and the christmas yeah. carnival on yeah. christmas day yeah. Oh, the Christmas Carnival on Christmas mm -hmm. Day. I'm waiting for the cantatat that has um, the guest performance from Shola, Shola Allison. Allison. Yes, it's going to be massive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. We're all looking forward to it. So if we're looking forward to it, we want you to look forward to it. But anyways, um, as the conversation is the difference between Santa Claus and, and Father, Father Christmas, Christmas uh, I would like us to see some pictures because, you know, with that, we can actually tell the difference and why some children cry, cry. when they um, take a look at this just take a this look. is definitely tell me why a child would not see this and not cry or be scared what is this guy wearing this is father Kiri Simisi actually what is he wearing I don't know I wish we could get the video of father Christmas that had a Are fight you this dude <laughs> That's another thing. Why is it that um, they must add something to the tummy to make it look bigger? Something at the back. So, you know, have you seen pictures of the regular um, white Father Christmas? He is always big. They, so what they do is they look for somebody that is quite big mm -hmm. with big stomach and probably a big, uh, bigger, bigger behind, you know, just mm -hmm. to, a big person. 
generally or a fluffy person. He has person, a black belt and he holds um, the gift. But yeah, like so he's, he is kind of round thing. around that place. Well, so, but so the problem is, is, this is a slim guy. You can see exactly, from his legs. Exactly, and then they had to put stuff, things in. Um, and it looks funny, to be honest. If I am a child and you take me to this person, I would have every reason to cry and run. Wura, the truth is man must survive. He probably <laughs> just needs his job to... Um, do the needful, really. Or the another situation might be that they asked him to do it. It's probably the uncle or somebody's sister, and then you they know asked sometimes him to do it. you find teachers they make teachers um, do these things in school. This father Christmas is pounding yam. Oh, what is her? <laughs> what is her? This father Christmas is pounding yam. What if this was someone's Christmas wish? To pound yam. So eat pounded yam, and he decided to pound the yam for the person. Wura. Yes. That Father Christmas was pounding yam. Please, now we see the photo again. That Father Christmas was pounding yam. What if it was someone's Christmas wish? And you they put yam and everybody is there and he's wearing the costume. And you know the costume is quite thick. That is a very hot costume in a very interestingly hot weather. Oh. And he is pounding hot yam. <laughs> did you see the video of Father Christmas and Spider-Man? Yes, I did. And that was something... Okay, so what is this? So the person holding the child is meant to be assistant for that Christmas. What is what that? Is he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> and what is that? The person Christmas is wearing a robe. Look at the children don't even look excited. He's wearing a robe. <laughs> That the man children, is wearing a robe. The children don't even look excited to see how, these people. <laughs> how can they be excited oh, no. to see this person? Mm -mm, wait, you are not a kid anymore, and you go uh, to what? what? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but what is this? What is, what is what happening? Is <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on there? I mean, these guys are practically just ruining the whole um, history and moments children will probably look I forward don't, to I don't I disagree Santa I disagree about ruining I disagree Why? Because I now take a look at what Santa Claus should be this and what is, Father Christmas I, I should disagree. be This is a foreigner Wura This is a foreigner See that's, that's mm, the, that's, no, I feel like mm, that's the issue mm, we have sometimes we copy the western culture but we don't when we copy, we don't do it the right way. I don't care, really. It is just that the, the costumes are very See, just funny. Take a look. But we isn't have this, to put this our signature look. To look at. Like, I if you take it to this Father care. Christmas, won't you be excited? Look at the children. I see the smiles on their faces. Did you see the children with Father Kerry Messi? Did you see them? I feel like, okay, so the truth is, I feel like maybe we should just put a little bit of African theme to our father christmas okay. or probably name it something else and make it ours and own it maybe then we'll stop messing up the costumes but still i enjoy seeing in fact i feel weird when i see a father christmas that looks right why i said it yes i said it. i feel very weird when i see you a looking right father like christmas. That. i'm sorry but that is what it is i was even used, used to, to seeing a mother christmas because we had reverend sisters in my primary school mm -hmm. and they were always dressed in santa claus materials but they would always wear their mother christmas regalia please and please i want to beg you people but that is now own world if you I are going to represent agree. the image of father christmas or santa I claus agree Make sure you're doing it the right way because you the act of giving gift is meant to be exciting. It is exciting! No, it's not exciting! Why is it not exciting? Can we show the picture cry? again? Please, can, you, can you show the picture of the imagine? <laughs> this one is crying. It is cry of joy. Cry of what 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 cry of joy is this? <laughs> this is cry of joy. Did you see I mean, this child is meant to be excited, receiving gift from Father Christmas, but see. And then you tell me. You don't think there's a problem? Ura, <laughs> this is not even the problem. The problem for me is the decoration. <laughs> what is happening at the back? <laughs> no, that's how you like Father Christmas. What is, so you said, what? you already stated what? that what? they are not ruining the moment, so it's fine. That, you know what? That's, that's what... What is... 
Who um, is this guy? This is so a Chinese man <laughs> that is dressed in a Santa yeah. outfit that is um, running after an ostrich. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> It's probably trying to entertain. But maybe that's their culture. Have you thought about it? Well, true. Or it's trying to entertain the crowd because I can see that people uh, are I can see around. a lot of people at mm -hmm. the back end of that. You know, you know, so, I mean, the costume for Santa Claus is uh -huh. very cheap. Here you come. This is <laughs> Mother this Christmas. Is this is a Mother Nigerian, Christmas. It, this is a Nigerian But this Santa, is Mother Christmas. A mother, a mother, a mother Christmas. Yes. This is creative. Yes, very creative. A bicycle instead of a sleigh. Mm -hmm. Seriously, let's look at it. Um, let's look at the creativity. The only in this. thing that is left was for them to tie the Christmas tree at the end. Mm, yes. You know the weight distribution and yeah. all of that. But a bicycle. Uh, this is definitely a palm wine mm. bicycle. There's nothing you can tell me about the, it. This no, is a palm no, wine. This no. is this is a palm wine <laughs> bicycle. Then, this, Wait. Is, this is your idea of a. Per I mean, this uh, this looks better. This is actually a nice Santa. <sighs> This is Oof. a nicer Santa. A and nicer. it looks good. And the beards look... And it's an African yeah, Santa the or a black Santa. Look real. It is real. Real beards. Oh. So what I, what I do is... And this is my advice to everybody that is planning to have Christmas go to and Santa Claus. Because from the 24th... So from the 24th of December, you will stop having Father Christmas. Mm -hmm. Because they believe that... They believe is Father Christmas has gone back to the North Pole. And he has dropped his gifts and all of that. So mm -hmm. children cannot go to greet and see him anymore. So my advice to everybody that is trying to create a Santa experience is get somebody that has beards. Full beards, beard gang, whatever it is that they call it. Get but somebody that has you, a lot you, of beards. You, what she said was that this should be... <laughs> mm -mm. What I am saying is it is the experience that we grew up with. I have never seen a Santa that looks right. But have it, you ever it, it seen one? It won't one? hurt. It won't hurt to actually have one. And that's what we're saying. We're saying the same thing, Wura. I am used <laughs> to seeing a Santa that doesn't look right. <laughs> I thought you get it. I am used to seeing that Santa that doesn't look right. So how about we advise on how to so, make a Santa look right? Talking about experience for Father Christmas. So in, um, I remember there was a story growing up where um, because the popular notion is that Santa Claus is white mm. and then this particular man was hired to you know um, act like Father Christmas in a school and then he had to go bleach his skin and it was terrible what exactly it, it, instead of the goal of wanting to make the child children excited and all of that he scared. actually made them scared because his skin had different colors and patches and it didn't look great. Why? Then sometimes you find them putting costume, like maybe foundation to make you look brighter and all of that. And to be honest, with the picture we saw, a black um, Father Christmas, it's not a bad idea. It is not about the skin, skin color, color exactly. it is just about the message that you're passing. You mm -hmm. can be anybody, you can be anywhere, you can be anything and give Christmas joy. I mean, if you want to copy the Santa that we see or the ones that we see in a movie, you probably should be looking for somebody that is a little bit on the big side, mm -hmm. somebody that has pot belly or bigger um, belly, somebody that has a lot of beards, beards yeah. and um, somebody that can either stuff something behind or has a big behind, or somebody that their outfits can fit. But I've seen a couple of Santa Clauses that are not big or that are not um, on the big side and all of that. Mm -hmm. And they wear costumes that actually fit. That's the thing. Wear a costume that fits you, that makes you look good, good. that makes you look... A costume that you can body. That is what makes you look uh, like a very good Santa Claus. Basically, it doesn't matter what color. Either you're mm -hmm. Indian, either you're, you're white or you're black or you're anything. You just have to body the outfit and look great and make the children happy and say... That's the ho, point. Ho, now, look ho. at the difference. Look at these children and look at that child. How peaceful. It is. What did they do to that child's face? Just, just. <laughs> you see what I was saying? That they have to paint their faces white or put foundation or something just to make them look like Santa Claus. See, 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 take a look at that. That feels like a ghost wearing <laughs> the Father Christmas costume. Why, Why do they have, they to, have paint to paint his face? his face? What 
what is going on? <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. And it has come. <laughs> I Tell me do. why the children will not cry and and be scared. If I was the one, now. I would also why you cry. Like the tears of joy. You just didn't see it. <laughs> if you say that tears of joy again. <laughs>